Hands down my absolute favorite coffee and food that we had the whole time in Sydney was this place called Sydney and my goal you guys while I'm here is to go to as many cute coffee cafe pastry avocado toast spots as possible so yesterday I actually really loved the place that we went I'm gonna be sharing all of my favorite like coffee recommendations breakfast places because that is just totally my vibe I love that so much today we <laughs> kind of funny we were headed to this place that was the most recommended by everybody on Instagram every article that I found like this place was in all of them and it was called the grounds of Alexandria so we took an uber there this morning from our hotel um, which was about 15 minutes and we got there and I showed you guys a little bit of the inside it was just very like Alice in Wonderlandy looking and I got there and it was also really crowded and I was just like I don't know this is like not really my vibe so no offense to the people that recommended that but now <laughs> we are walking to another coffee shop called Mecca which is um, just like five or ten minute walk from the grounds of Alexandria so I will let you know how that one is but so far we've had really really good experiences at all the coffee places we went we went to like two different ones yesterday one was called industry beans um, and that was really good the food was amazing the coffee was like one of the best I've ever had and then we went to gumption which was also really good it was kind of in this indoor mall place which was really pretty so highly recommend both of those and I will let you guys know how this next one is but also usually I don't get super jet lagged but I don't know what it is I think I had too much caffeine <laughs> on the plane ride over because I was trying to stay awake so that I could get on Australia time and when I have caffeine it does something to me mentally I don't know what but the next day I usually wake up and I'm like not in the best mental state and so yesterday we walked around a little bit we went to some vintage shops and things but like I just did not feel like picking up a camera. I did not feel like myself and today I feel much better, luckily, because I did not slam a bunch of caffeine yesterday. So all the coffees that I will be drinking throughout this vlog will be decaf. Okay, so we just got to Bondi Beach and it is so pretty. It's definitely much more of a vibe over here. What I was trying to figure out when we were planning our Sydney trip was like where to stay. And honestly, if I had to do it again, I think I would choose to stay over here in Bondi. It's definitely more of like a laid back, wellnessy. I mean, the beach is beautiful and clean. Sydney itself, I mean, it's a really nice city, but it's more of just like a downtown feel. Um, this is just like so much more of a California-y type of vibe, like acai bowl places everywhere, also tons of cute cafes and things like that, but um, the water is amazing, it's so beautiful, the weather is amazing, I think it's the start of summer right now, so we came at like the perfect time. Um, but yeah, just if you are planning a trip, I would probably suggest staying down here personally, but... really perfect timing Eric absolutely hates outdoor markets and we've gone to like three in the past couple of days um, but they've all been so awesome I even got a couple of things at the one yesterday I will show you guys later I got or actually I'm wearing it right now this like leather bag and then I also got this really cute floral set but I just I love a vintage market and the ones here have been so good It's like 7am. I just woke up. Eric is gone because he went to go photograph in Bondi this morning. He wanted to go photograph the sunset and I was not going to wake up that early. So 
I just slept in till whenever I naturally woke up. I'm finally getting over the jet lag a little bit. I feel so much better today. Um, and I am just gonna get ready right now and then I'm gonna take an Uber over to Bondi. It's like 15, 20 minutes away from where we're staying in Sydney and go check out some of the cute cafes over there and go to the beach. We went over there yesterday and it was so beautiful. We showed you guys a little bit. Ow, this is really hot, ow. And we really liked it honestly a lot better than like the city part of Sydney so um we're gonna head over there today I'm gonna put on a cute outfit and get my uh makeup together and then I will catch up with you guys in a little bit also I can't remember if I told you guys this or not I don't think I did really a room tour it's kind of a mess right now but we are staying at the Four Seasons in Sydney um and it's nice like it's it's a nice hotel I think we were kind of shocked because when we were looking at hotels the Four Seasons here, which obviously you guys know Four Seasons is normally like a really nice hotel, was actually a pretty decent price. I think it was like 600, 600 to 700 a night. And we were kind of like, oh, that seems like a really good price for a Four Seasons, especially in Sydney. But like, I mean, every experience we've ever had at a Four Seasons before has been really good. So we just booked it. And I will say it's not the typical like super high end luxury Four Seasons experience that I have stayed in before. Like we've stayed at the Four Seasons Bora Bora. We've stayed at the Four Seasons Termina in Sicily. Um, and I think a couple of other ones, those are the first two that come to mind. And those were both like very, very high end hotels. Um, so I'm, I think I'm maybe learning that not all Four Seasons are like super high end. Again, this one is nice. I'm not saying there's nothing like wrong with it. It's just like, if you look at like this hotel room, it's very just like a basic hotel room. So just keep that in mind if you're looking for hotels in Sydney. Um, I've heard that this one and then there's one called like the crown something in Sydney that is supposed to be like really really nice but yeah in Bondi it looks like more Airbnbs so I guess if we were going to be staying in Bondi we'd probably look at Airbnbs but just you know keep that in mind if you're planning your travels I'm not sure when I became a travel advisor vlogger but I feel like when I'm in these places like I have and I'm vlogging like I have to give you guys my my like honest opinion about everything that I'm doing because when I'm looking for a vlog that's what I want to know but you know I'm not really a travel vlogger so take everything I say with a grain of salt I'm just trying to live my life you know okay i am ready this is my fit i've been wearing this sweater like every single day because it's a little bit cooler here than i thought it was going to be and everything else i brought is like very very summery bali weather um i thrifted this bag yesterday i can't remember if i showed you guys or not and i'm obsessed with it it's so cute and just my little this skirt is from revolve revolve actually everything i'm wearing is from revolve so I will see you guys in a couple minutes. I'm headed to meet Eric at this cafe that's called Two Forks in Bondi. It has good reviews and we're gonna shop around a little bit. So I will see you guys there. Definitely did not choose the appropriate fit to be sitting at the beach, but. so I just decided I would sit in the grass and chill here for a little bit. I made a TikTok this morning that I need to edit. So I kind of, in terms of like working while we're traveling, I kind of just do it whenever. I know it's like so, so stereotypically like work from wherever, but I literally like, I don't ever schedule in hours to be working or anything like that like this morning on the uber ride over i did some editing which was like 20 minutes and then i might do some now but like i literally cannot be confined to a workspace or specific work hours i just do it whenever i feel like it and that's kind of what works for me but that's also like the reason why i wanted to work for myself in the first place is because i really just i am somebody who's like really self-motivated so i don't need somebody to tell me like you need to get things done at this time on this hour i'm like no i can finish them on my own time and like work whenever i feel like working and it ends up being the most productive for me in the laziest way possible hence the name there's rain all over my lens. We're getting rained on. I'm trying a new cafe today called Room 10. It is very tiny, but it's really cute. And yes, it is a rainy day today, so we will probably have breakfast and then like 15 coffees and then get a little bit of work done. My fourth avocado toast in Sydney. <laughs> Eric's, Eric's on the avo train too. Okay, we 
we've officially been to nine different coffee shops in the matter of four days. Um, this one that we just went to is called Primary and it was super aesthetic inside and I had really high hopes but I would, if I'm being honest, it was probably the worst coffee that I've had in Australia so far. Like every other coffee has been so incredible, like better even than what I've had in Europe, which is insane. And now we are headed to <laughs> the third coffee shop of the day but we've actually been to this place before we went here on the first day it was called industry beans and it's really good so we're going back hotel now it is our last day in Sydney and I didn't really mean for it to but this vlog kind of turned into like a Sydney cafe travel guy which is very different than my normal vlogs but if you made it until this point of the vlog you're probably like planning a trip to Sydney so I thought I would do a quick rundown of like all of the cafes we visited where we stayed my recommendations where I would go back to things like that so number one Sydney is definitely different than what I had in my mind of what I thought Sydney Australia was going to be like not that I hate it I mean it's kind of similar to a lot of big cities that I've been to. I think if I was going to plan another trip to around this area, I definitely would stay in Bondi because it was by the beach. It was kind of just more of like a wellness, health, beachy vibey area whereas sydney is kind of more just like a typical downtown area so keep that in mind um depending on what your vibe is and then of course i'm sure there are so many things to do in sydney but my favorite thing to do and my husband's favorite thing to do is go out to breakfast and drink coffee and like walk around cute areas so we literally went to 13 different cafes yes i counted all of them over the span of like four days so i'm just gonna go through them i think i showed most of them already in this vlog so the top cafe that I definitely think are a must if you are in Sydney. Number one, Mecca. It is, they have a couple different locations. I thought the food was amazing. The coffee was amazing. It was one of the best like cafes that we went to for sure. One that everybody told me to go to, but we actually went there. It was the Grounds of Alexandria. I showed you guys a little bit. We got there, we put our name in, we were gonna eat there. And then I was like, you know what? This is like a little too whimsical for my taste. Um, so that's when we decided to just go to Mecca around the corner instead. I know everybody says it's really good, so I'm not saying that it's bad. I didn't actually try it. Everybody, like it's on the top list of all the places to go. So maybe if you're in Sydney, check it out and let me know, tell me that I should have went. Now, if you are in Bondi, the places to go in Bondi are the depot they had tons of outdoor seating it was really cute if it's a nice day it's like the perfect place to go then across from the depot is this place called harry's that had a huge line it was super popular every time we were over there they have really good breakfast we actually didn't eat there but i did have a matcha there that was really good and they're known to have a really good breakfast so check that out and then i also really like this place called gertrude and alice in bondi it's like a bookstore slash coffee bar um i just went there and grabbed a matcha and honestly it was one of the best matchas I've ever had and it was just really cute and kind of like just like grandma's house inside you know what I mean like they had all these like books that you could take and use for free they had all these like mismatched mugs that I thought were really cute if you drink a coffee there so depending on what your vibe is they're all like those are all kind of like very different but Bondi was definitely really cool okay the next area I would really recommend going to if you love cafes is called Potts Point I felt like it was kind of more of a hipster type of area there's more like pedestrian walking streets and there's a street that has like all of these really cute sidewalk cafes it almost reminded me of like some streets in Paris that I really liked um, and on that street there's this place called Pina um, that is really popular we didn't actually eat there but across from that is a cafe called room 10 it's tiny but they have really good food and really good coffee they also have a bunch of good like lunch options so highly recommend checking that out and then around the corner from room 10 is another really cute coffee shop there's actually two of them one is called barrel one we didn't actually go there but it looked cute and then there's another one in Potts Point called primary and I have to be honest I loved the aesthetic of primary I I thought it was super cute for like a minimal 
Instagram photo aesthetic. However, the coffee was not great. It was probably like the worst coffee that I had <laughs> the whole Sydney trip. So just keep that in mind. Now, hands down, my absolute favorite coffee and food that we had the whole time in Sydney was this place called Industry Beans. And it was so lucky because we actually didn't even mean to go there. We only went there the first day because I don't know what was going on, but like, Every single other cafe I had on my list was closed except for them. So we went in there and the aesthetic inside was so cute. It kind of reminded me like of a blue bottle, but more fancy. Um, and the coffee was insane. I had a matcha there too, also incredible. And the food was really, really good. It was probably also the best avocado toast that I had on this whole trip. And I ate avocado toast literally every single day. Now, the last cafe that I highly recommend visiting if you are in Sydney is called Kahi, I think it's pronounced. It's like a coffee bar and a wine bar. So in the morning, it's a coffee bar. In the nighttime, it is a wine bar. And I really love this place because the like dark marble aesthetic was just so beautiful. Obviously, I'm a sucker for anything that's aesthetic and good for content. Um, but the coffee was also really good. And it was just a really cute place to like hang out. And um, I loved it. So highly recommend trying all of those places if you are coming to Sydney. And I was really blown away because I had no idea that Sydney had such good coffee. Honestly, it was better. Most of the places that we had coffee here were better than coffee that I have had in Europe. Like I've been to Europe so many times and Sometimes it's really good, but sometimes it's not that good. And every, well, aside from the one place, every single coffee that I had here in Sydney was just incredible. So if you love coffee, if you love like, like breakfast cafe type of scene, you're going to love Sydney. And I've heard that Melbourne, Melbourne, however you pronounce it, is like even more incredible in terms of coffee. So let me know in the comments if you guys have been to Sydney, if you've been to Melbourne, Melbourne, I don't know how to say it, like where's the best place to get coffee? Because if, if anyone's watching this video at this point, like you probably are looking for cafe and coffee recommendations. So let's all help each other out in the comments. And then we head to Bali tomorrow. So I think there's so many cute cafes in Bali as well. So maybe I'll like continue this kind of series over on my TikTok. So make sure you're following me there and be sure to subscribe so you never miss a video. I'll be back again next week with another one. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.